Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question how to get and how to use the 3D weather or rain radar of Fox Weather. So here we have the app, you don't have to go into special program or so, you can download the normal official app from the Android Play Store. Of course here we are talking about the Android version, the iOS version for Apple or for iPhone has been published long time ago and I think there are plenty of videos about that. So here I'm concentrating on the Android version. When we open the app we have a couple of information here we have down here we have also a couple of things and we have the radar here. So we can use the multi-touch to zoom in and zoom out and we can play it but that's the only thing there is not even a timeline slider or so it doesn't have a lot of function and yeah, you can search and search and search and there is no 3D option here to find. So what we have to do is to go to home and then go to settings. And here we have this radar type and we can choose between 2D and 3D uh, beta version. So we activate that and then go back and click on radar. Now it looks a little bit different. Now we have this timeline slider which I always wanted and we can activate this 3D or 2D. So you can see like that it's 2D but it's still uh, better than before because we already have this timeline slider here which I always wanted but unfortunately we don't have this uh, long term radar prediction anymore it's just I think 60 minutes from now the weird thing is that we can also use some kind of 3d here what we have to do I mean of course we can zoom in and zoom out but when we use the multi-touch and not spreading out or not narrowing down but just move the multi-touch both fingers at the same time to the same direction you can see now we can make it somehow 3D and now we can also uh, zoom in again and I think it goes yeah now it down here it shows automatically 3D so you don't have to click on that you can also just use the multi-touch put it to the side then it goes automatically into 3D what we see here is a little bit of 3D uh, in this area yeah now it's turned around here a little bit so let's do it again so to move around we have to use one finger to rotate, we can rotate it with two fingers and we can zoom in and zoom out and also use the 3D effect. So we have a lot of functions with this multi-touch. So what we can see here is a little bit disappointing. I mean here of course we have this 3D. Uh, when I point and yeah, I zoom here a little bit more in. I hope we can see that now it's really at the limit of everything but the main part of this weather front but you can see what the 3D thing is. It's still like flat but a little bit elevated so it's like you would be able to look underneath the radar. It's a little bit a weird thing so for me it doesn't really look like 3D the things which I've been seeing from the iOS Apple version have been looking much better than this thing here but at least we have something and they can work on that and maybe they can improve that but it's not really really helpful it's not impressive at all we can move this thing around but it really doesn't doesn't help a lot at least for me the only thing which I really love is this timeline slider here which we have in the 2D and we have it also in the 3D but unfortunately it's limited to 60 minutes when we are using the 2D then we don't have this timeline slider but we have a much longer time span this is at least two three four maybe five hours from here it goes until 11 and now you are at 5 I think so it's 6 hours uh, into the future and probably also 6 hours into the past something like that I wish it would be like that also this thing looks uh, actually much nicer than the 3D which we have seen before on the 3D map so I hope they can work on that at the moment it's not helping a lot but I just wanted to show you that
if you are interested so you know how to work how to activate how to use it and so i hope to be able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time